welcome back. So today's job is deactivation and activation of PVUs, of one of the PVUs. Remember, we have three PVUs on this engine and we can run with just two. The engine can run with two PVUs on full load, two cold ends, two PVUs, that's hot end and cold end. The hot side is hydraulics, cold side is the cryogenic liquid from where we pump at 5 bar to 380 bar. Please visit the Manias website for their design and other insights freely available right there. So let's deactivate the pump. Remember this will happen only when we are at the chief mode. What I mean is you need to be in chief rather than the operator. Rohit, Rohit, can you please deactivate the pump? Pump number three, shut the outlet and circulation valve. Okay, so now he will shut the valves and as he shuts each valve, you can see the limit switch. It gives you one he, because he's tried the suction valve and next he has to shut this valve. And once it's ready, I'll click the deactivate mode. It's ready. Let me click on deactivate. And now it says pump inactive. So now we have two pumps, pump one and pump two active. As you can see here, pump three is inactive. Go back. Let's now I need to activate the pump. The pump is ready to be put in service. This is how you do it. I'll click activate and I'll ask my cargo to do the same. Uh, Rohit, Rohit, can you please uh, open the circulation and open the suction valve pump three, pump three. Pump three. Okay, so cargo engineer is standby. And now as he activates, as he opens the valves, this one has changed. This one will change and the moment this one also changes, the limit changes, physically he changes the valve, this will change to active. And that's done. Copy that Rohit, all back to normal, thank you. So we just have to go and accept the alarms that are visible there. And once all done, that's pretty much it and that's how it's done. You've seen the digital process, now let's go physically, let's go into the cargo machinery room where the PVUs are. So that is the recirculation valve and that particular one is your limit switch of the recirculation valve. You see this is a non-contact type switch. So this is your suction valve. Once that lever is on to the limit switch, the light is on or light is off. So those are your three suction valves of the PVU pumps. And now let's have an overview of the PVU. And this right here, this is the recirculation valve. I'm just showing you pump number three. The others will be there right at the top, similarly located. Take care over and out from the cargo machinery room. All the MEGI engines will have uh, three PVUs installed on board the pump vaporizing unit. You have three pumps, three recipro reciprocating pumps, uh, hydraulically driven. Uh, one side is called the hot end, the hydraulic end, and the cold end, the cold side, the cryogenic side, that drives your cargo. So it uh, pressurizes the cargo from 5 bar that's discharged uh, into these pumps from your the FGSS deep well pump from the tank and it pressurizes it to about 380 bar. So this is called as a 400 bar system for ethane engines and 300 bar for methane. If you have any issues, you isolated one pump. With two pumps, you can run the system at about 100% engine load. We've tested that today. And well, this is how it looks. So this is the PVU MOP. So from the PVU MOP, I go to the pump details and I can see pump number three is inactive. You can very clearly see pump number three inactive. It shows you the circulation valve and the suction valve have been shut. The limit switches have been shut and positively isolated. So this is the MOP that you see that is giving you a very clear set of parameters in the second fuel, uh, the outer pipes, the seal oil, the cylinder monitoring and basically the status so this gets everything ready your mop screen operational skin screen and here is this very index the coco screen on the pmi that tells you sensor a and sensor i hope a. you guys have learned something new so that's how you isolate one pvu and also you've seen how the system can operate successfully with just two pvus in use Take care, bye-bye, stay safe, do like, do share and subscribe.